I'm Tim of Gothberg, and welcome to the world of Hublot. Today, I'll be your guide to the proper usage, care, and maintenance of your Hublot Big Bang one-click Italia Independent Blue Velvet. Now, it's important to note that although this is an automatic winding watch by means of case-back winding rotor, nevertheless, you can manually wind the watch should it come to a halt by turning the crown in its first position flush to the case 20 to 30 turns in a clockwise direction. Now you'll find that in the course of this winding, the seconds hand begins to advance. Now the watch is running. You can set the time and you can set the date and simply allow the kinetic action of your wrist to continue to energize the watch. But should you wish to fully wind the watch by manual means up to its maximum rated power reserve of approximately 50 hours, simply continue turning in a clockwise direction. Listen for a subtle click or tick from within the body of the watch. That's the sign that the bridal style mainspring has slipped by design to relieve any excess strain. That's the point at which the watch is fully wound. Take note, you cannot accidentally overwind the watch. Simply listen for your audible cue. Now the watch features two subsidiary functions that allow more precise setting of the time, including stop seconds and what's known as a quick set. By pulling the crown out to its second position, you can feel it's two to tenths out from flush, you halt the seconds hand. Now this is ideally used by halting the seconds hand at the index at 12, bringing up an online reference such as an atomic clock and then setting the watch with the seconds hand halted at 60. We may as well run the seconds hand all the way up to the index, but set the same hour as the atomic clock, set the seconds hand to match the index at the top of the dial, which point you withdraw the crown, stop the seconds, and then set to the next nearest minute relative to your reference time. When the reference time catches up to the time you've set, such that hour, minute, and second all coincide, press the crown back in, continue the beat of the watch, now you've synchronized your watch. Now there is another function, which is one detent out from flush, and this is the quick set. It's used to rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter an irregular length month. Take note, that this particular watch features a bi-directional quick set, an exceptional feature uncommon within the watch industry, and it allows the luxury of correcting the date forward or backwards, whichever direction is closest to the correct date. Now it's also important to note that the watch features one restriction on the use of its quick set mechanism inasmuch as you should never attempt to set the date using the quick set function between the hours of 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. This is known as the no-go zone or the danger zone. From 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. the watch is automatically engaged in the turnover of its date therefore attempting to use the manual quick set can crash the movement. Always ensure that the watch is not set to a time between 8 p.m. and 3 a.m. before using the quick set function of the date. Now the timepiece's nomenclature, one click, refers to the quick release system that's installed in the lugs. Simply by depressing the automotive seatbelt style buckle trigger, you can release the custom strap for closer cleaning of the case or to change straps. Press the button and pull to withdraw and return it exactly as you would an automotive seatbelt. Press it in until you feel the click. It's also important to note that with respect to the handling of a ceramic case, you'll find that it ensures long wearing durability, being exceptionally hard, effectively as hard as the sapphire crystal. It is extremely durable, resisting conventional scratches, scuffs, and marks of wear. However, like a sapphire crystal, being a very hard material, it can be shattered under extreme circumstances, so be careful not to strike hard objects or engage in any kind of activity that may result in direct trauma or concussion to the case itself. Now there are three primary areas with respect to the handling of the watch that you should keep in mind. Water, magnetism, and shock. Now this watch is water resistant down to 100 meters, which means it's suitable for most aquatic activities short of professional diving. 
Always ensure prior to taking the watch in the water that the crown is as far in as it will go flush to the case and you can help to avoid accidental drowning in this manner. Do not withdraw the crown, wind or set it, or use any of its functions while the watch is submerged or even while there is water on the case as this can bypass case seals and introduce water to the interior of the watch. Furthermore, Water resistance is not a static feature of a timepiece and in time water resistance will ebb as seals age and lubricants degrade. Therefore, Hublot recommends on an annual basis having the watch water tested at an authorized service center. Water resistance can be tested using a dry test at this time to verify that factory rated hermeticity is retained. Should the watch be handled in salt water, always remember rinse with fresh water after engaging with salt. Now magnetism is a ubiquitous and unseen threat. It affects the hairspring at the center of your watch's beating balance, effectively the heartbeat of your watch. A magnetized watch will run erratically, either fast or slow. Therefore, if you suspect your watch may have become magnetized due to erratic running, take it to an authorized retailer of Hublot where specialized equipment is available to quickly and easily demagnetize your watch. Keep the watch remote from high magnetic flux density devices such as the closures of purses and wallets and refrigerator doors, MRIs, speakers and subwoofers as all of these can affect your watch's hairspring. Keep your watch remote from shock. As discussed, it's best to keep the case protected from hard strikes against solid objects. However, it's also important to avoid concussing the movement within, as extreme shock can damage a fine mechanical caliber, such as the Hublot HUB1770. It's important to ensure the watch is disused during activities such as mountain biking, firearms, marksmanship, batting, tennis, or golf. Ultimately, every fine mechanical watch requires a comprehensive service per Hublot every three to five years. This should be performed exclusively at an authorized service center that has the trained personnel, specialized equipment and tools, as well as Hublot factory replacement parts to protect the value of your watch as both an instrument and as an investment. Moreover, only these agencies are authorized to back all work performed with an Hublot factory service warranty. Finally, Text, email, or call our experts at govbergwatches.com who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the ownership and care of this or any Hublot product.